Hello engineers, welcome back to Engineering Design Simplified. In this video series, I will be solving tough engineering mechanics problems. If you want to watch more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and press that bell button so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. Today's problem is three wires exert the tension indicated on the eye bolt as shown in figure. Determine the force in a single wire that will replace the three wires and direction of the force. So here in this picture on this eye bolt, three forces acting as shown. Uh, this force 20 Newton at an angle 68 degrees with the horizontal and this 60 Newton is horizontal and this 40 Newton is uh, vertically downwards that is 90 degrees from the horizontal. So in this problem we need to find a resultant force uh, that should replace all these three forces and its direction. In order to find the resultant of these three forces, first we need to resolve forces along x direction that is horizontal. So along x direction uh, 60 Newtons plus uh, horizontal component of this 20 Newton is uh, 20 cos 68 degrees and this, vertic uh, this uh, vertical force will not have any horizontal component. So we get sigma fx equal to 60 plus 20 cos 68. So the value is 67.5 Newton and that is positive x direction. So similarly, uh, we need to find, uh, we need to resolve forces along y direction also. also. So along y direction, uh, we have sigma fy equal to the vertical component of this force 20 Newton is uh, 20 sin 68 degrees minus 40 Newton. So this force is downwards. Uh, so we get, uh, we write minus 40 and this uh, force 60 Newton won't have any vertical component since it is a horizontal. So we get sigma fy equal to minus 21.5 Newton that is negative. So the resultant will be uh, somewhere like um, on the horizontal uh, positive 67.5 Newton and on the vertical uh, negative y direction uh, sigma y is minus 21.5. So resultant will be somewhere like this and we need to find r and angle. So let us see in the next slide how to find. So the resultant R can be found as square root of sigma fx square plus sigma fy square. So after substituting the values and simplification, we get R equal to 70.8 Newton. Direction of the resultant can be found as tan theta equal to sigma fy by sigma fx. So theta equal to tan inverse sigma f by, by sigma fx. So after substituting the values of sigma fy and sigma fx and simplification, we get theta equal to minus 17.6 degrees. So that is a uh, clockwise direction, uh, minus 17.6 degrees. So in order to find uh, this angle of the resultant from this horizontal uh, in the counterclockwise direction, uh, we need to substitute that angle theta from 360 degrees. So we get 360 minus 17.6 we get a 342.4 degrees. That's all for today's video. If you like this content, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.